Check, check. I can hear me, I can't hear you. Can you hear me now? I can hear you now. Okay. Just like the Verizon guy, baby. Okay. All right, everybody, we are back after a long hiatus of a whopping two weeks with the Alpha Male Show, baby. We're back. How is everybody doing? Good to see everybody again. I survived my cruise. Amazing, isn't it? I thought the boat was going to go over, but it did not. And hey, look at this. Someone left the volume on right here. (coughs) <coughs> on the iPad, and I got to figure out how to shut it off. Everything about this is annoying. Uh, let's see. How do we shut the volume off on this? Oh, for the criminies. I really hate this iPad thing. How do you I people survive? Uh, menu. Gene, how do I shut this off? Oh, wait. Never mind. Found it. Found that it's off. Life is good. Life is grand. We're back, and we are. I'm just a little, uh, little out of sorts. It's been a while. My man Steve Keller in the house. Darlene's in the house. How are you doing, Darlene Rainus? Uh, tell Steve I said hello. It is good to be back. We have a, uh, a fun-filled uh, week of the Alpha Male Show here for you. And as always, we're brought to you by Josie's Pizzeria, 228, 228 Stuyvesant Ave, Lenners, New Jersey. Give them a call, 201-933-1966. Stephen Cooper's in the house. The Ventosos are here. Gene is here, but I already knew that because he's outside. I was talking to him before the show. It is good to be here. It is good to be back. Um, I'm going to jump into a bunch of things. Uh, let everybody know what's going on. I'm going to, uh, we're going to start off first off with a shout out to my main man, uh, Tim Eli. Tim Eli is not feeling so well. He is, uh, last we heard he's in the hospital. Tim, get better quick, buddy. If there's anything we can do, uh, just reach us, reach out to us here at Hamilton radio. Uh, wishing, uh, wishing you get well and all the best. Okay. Hey, what's going on, Danielle? I can know it's Danielle. She's waving. Hey, Johnny Imbarato is in the house. What's going on, Johnny? It's good to be back. I'm loving this. Kenny, TJ, Morris in the house. We got the whole crew here. Everybody's here. Uh, let's see. Where are we? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna give everyone an extensive uh, extensive background on uh, my cruise and all that stuff that happened. Everything that happened on the cruise, I'm going to give you good stuff. I'm going to give you bad stuff, and I'm going to I'm going to go back and forth telling you what was good and what was bad. This way, it's not all of uh, it's not all sunshine and rainbows, and it's not all taking a dump on the on the boat. So uh, it has been a long time, Johnny, but always a pleasure to see you, sir. Uh, for those wondering, I am still uh, still playing. I'm running for governor of New Jersey in uh, 2021. Uh, I'm going to get that to, uh, I'm going to get that to work. I've been looking into it. I'm going to need, uh, need to submit some paperwork and stuff. Uh, I'm going to do it basically just to, uh, further my comedy career and my radio show career. But, uh, Hey, why not? Someone has to run for governor. It might as well be me. Hey, mayor is in the house. What's going on there, mayor? Good to see you, hon. Uh, running for governor, just to give you an idea, I will, uh, eliminate all income tax in New Jersey. No one will be paying income tax. Uh, sales tax, obviously, I can't do anything about, but uh, income tax will be eliminated. 
and we will have some programs to uh, that will replace that money because uh, they've steal they've stolen the government has stolen enough money from us. So uh, as governor, I will be eliminating income tax. I will be legalizing, uh, and just so everyone knows, I am not a fan. I do not partake, and I am against it myself. But who am I to control everyone's lives? So I will be legalizing marijuana and prostitution. Uh, the tax dollars from that, I, uh, first off, legalizing prostitution will take away all the, uh, the crummy diseases that go along with it. We will be able to regulate all these women and uh, men, too. Hey, if you want to you wanna buy a dude, go right ahead. Hey, Ms. Scardino's in the house. Uh I, I hope he likes his picture up on the uh, on the big screen there. Him sleeping on the uh, the lounge chaser because that is awesome stuff. Uh, but yes, as governor, I will be uh, legalizing marijuana, prostitution. Uh, that money that's coming in from gambling, from all the sports gambling, I don't know where they're stealing it and shoving it right now. But it's going to replace the no income tax thing. Taxes from all that stuff will go where the income tax used to go. And we are not paying income tax anymore. Enough with this crap in this state. Okay? Now, that being said, I'll wait until that gets a little further along. We are going to uh, we're going to talk about my uh, Triple L is in the house. We're going to be talking about my cruise because, hey, the cruise was a hell of a lot of fun. Linda Laurie in the house. What's going on, Linda? Good to see you. Uh, and anyone who was on the cruise, feel free to talk, call in, talk in, comment. Uh, let me know your thoughts. I'm going to tell every, start telling everybody, uh, where, um, you know, what, what I thought of the cruise, how much fun I had and, uh, all that fun stuff. I'm going to start with the food. The food was incredible. I really enjoyed the food. Where do I stand on Hasidic drivers? We're, we're going to get it. We're going to get into illegal immigration later there, Steve. But right now I'm talking about my cruise. Hey, Gina, Gina Scardino's in the house. Look, your husband's famous, sleeping on, sleeping on a lounge chair, working hard. Anyway, the food on this trip was incredible. Uh, you're having prime rib for the lunch. They have carving stations. Uh, breakfast, you got untold amounts of uh, food. You got pancakes. You got uh, waffles, French toast, bacon. Right now, if I cut my wrist, I would bleed bacon. That's how much bacon I ate. Hey, Hanya Stitcher in the house. Hello, Hanya. Good to see you. Um, yes, I'm all talking. It, uh, we're going to be talking mainly about the cruise tonight, Gina. So uh, glad to have everybody here. Uh, no, I didn't eat the... Uh, I didn't eat any guys' cheeseburgers. Whatever the hell guys' cheeseburgers are. Uh, but I, I'll tell you what, one day for lunch, I did have a, uh, a couple of cheeseburgers and, uh, and a hot dog. I haven't eaten a hot dog in about a year, but I, Ed, you do have a phone call. Oh, I have a phone call. All right. Look at this. We have a phone call. People put the phone call through there. I Gina. really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Scardino. How are you, sir? How are you? I am very good. Look how, look how relaxed you look in that lounge chair. I, I, I call to protest this picture. That is a great picture. That could be the greatest picture I've ever taken. I, I don't remember taking that picture. That's because you were asleep, and I walked by, and I said, oh, I took the picture, and then the bartender, the, the, the waiter woke you up and asked you if you wanted more booze. Oh, okay. So I took that just before he woke you up. You don't think I should get permission? Get permission before posting such a no that's silly protocol. half the people think it's me anyway so what's the difference <laughs> oh boy all right well thank you for uh for the beautiful photograph i appreciate it um i'm glad you enjoyed it i saved it just special for this show i i knew you would like it and i knew your wife would laugh at it Gina did laugh very much so thanks Ed. you have a good night have a great show you too and thanks for calling in buddy right, buddy Right. Everyone, that's uh, Anthony Scardino, the uh, next mayor of Lynnhurst, New Jersey, as far as he knows. Uh, let's see. Uh, they they had also. I mean, a after we get on with the food, they had they had what I thought was awesome. 
I, I agree, Hanya. That is a great picture of Anthony. That's one of my favorite pictures I've ever taken. Right right next to me dressed as uh right right next to me dressed as um I had the Paw Patrol sunglasses on, which was the uh picture for uh this show forever. But uh, I love the Scardino picture of him lounging on the cruise. It's it shows how much fun the cruise was that even Anthony got to relax a little. Uh, they they had a big screen movie like uh, movie screen on deck, which I thought was awesome. They uh, they showed a movie every night. I got to watch uh, Captain uh, Captain Marvel one night, and uh, they had a couple other movies, um, How to Train Your Dragon, and a couple other things. I kind of enjoyed doing that. Um, I got a massage while I was on the cruise. Fantastic. That was uh, my first night there. I jumped right into that. Much needed to uh, loosen up and relax. Uh, the casino in the basement they on the third floor. It was kind of small, but it was cool. Um, it wish I wish I brought my ex-brother-in-law, uh, Mr. Joe Sarnowski, with me. Because Joe... Uh, Joe had a uh, a knack for for working the claw machines, as I remember, and they had a claw machine that every time you won, you you know you were just picking up s- piles of hundred dollars. So I, I'm pretty sure they they would have went broke with Joe there because he always wins at the claw machine. So I think my next uh, I think my next cruise I'm taking him with me. Just saying. Uh, a couple of little things drove me nuts. The the cleaning crew on the on the boat kept walking into my room. I'm walking out of the shower. He's lucky I had pants on. Okay, because generally I don't have pants on. But since my daughter was in the same room, it was just one room and we had two beds in there, I said, you know what? When I come out of the bathroom, let me make sure I have on pants. Plus, any dolphins looking in through my, through my, uh, my stateroom window wouldn't be shocked by by watching me walk out and all my fatness naked. But anyway, I, I'm walk out of the shower. All of a sudden, the door opens up, and here comes a guy looking to make my bed. Get out of my room for crying out loud! What the hell is wrong with you? You crazed, whacked out Jamaican lunatics they were. But uh, you know, nice people. But just <clears throat> you know, maybe knock before you enter my room or. Or even better, don't come in my room seven times a day. I don't need the bed made that many times. Hit me up fifteen dollars a bed. Every time, every time they made the bed, they charged me fifteen dollars. They charged my daughter sixty dollars a day. I'm making the bed. Leave my bed unmade. I'm crying out loud. You know, day four, round day four. I don't. I don't want to just jump all over the place, but day four. You, you sell a soda package for $9 a day, which, you know, costs like $100 for me and my daughter. And I, and that's fine. I, I, I didn't mind. But at day four, when you ran out of soda, maybe you ought to refill the machines. You know, we're paying for this. Refill the friggin' machines, people. I'm not asking for much. Just, you know, hey, look at that. There's the machine. Let's refill it. You know, it's empty. We told the guy, hey, you know, this machine is empty. He goes, yeah, we know. That's how I go, yeah, we know. Oh, fix it. Guest services double charging me for uh, for souvenirs. I get charged $86 twice. The first lady I yelled at, she was no help. But the second lady, I went down the next day when I, when I didn't want to stab someone. And I had a nice conversation. The lady was very helpful, and she fixed it. So... We'll we'll give her that. Also, I we were on deck, and, and I got to admit, I, I kind of, and I wasn't avoiding people on purpose, but I wound up avoiding everybody on the trip because everybody was either at the pool or at the bar for most of the day. Now, I don't swim I don't swim because I'm this fat. I just sink. And anytime I'm near a pool or the ocean, little kids always run up to me. They throw harpoons at me, screaming they need a bigger boat. So I have to avoid, at all costs, I try to avoid water in that case. Uh, 
Also, I don't drink, so while everybody's getting drunk at the bar, I said I, I don't need to go hang out at the bar. I don't drink, but that's fine. But when I was hanging out with everybody, I noticed that there were about 5,000 glasses because everybody was drinking out of cups or whatever, <clears throat> and they're just all over the place. It's like, can you send someone to clean up some of these glasses? I'm pretty sure we threw about six or seven of them back into the ocean and now we have a bunch of drunk fish swimming around, crashing in the side of boats and stuff. See, it wasn't it wasn't just the sodas. They 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 were running out of stuff for mixed drinks too. And they they were just improvising. You can't you can't run out of that stuff. You gotta kinda you gotta kinda plan ahead. I mean, you're charging people every day. You got to make sure you have more than enough. How do you run out of stuff? Johnny Ruggs in the house. What's going on there, Ruggs? Um, but, I mean, o- overall, I, I, I was kind of, I was pretty happy with the uh, cruise. Uh, you know, it was fun. The, 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 uh, the casinos were cool. The, the cups were everywhere. Cups were, the cups were flying. They were rolling. And, and I got to be honest, one of, one of the most entertaining things I found on this entire cruise, and I know I'm demented and all, but we were out in the middle of the Atlantic, and it's it's pouring out. One day, uh, like the second day out, we're in the middle of the ocean, and it starts pouring. Everybody's running for cover. Me, <clears throat> not so much. I go out. I go onto the 14th deck. Now... On the 14th deck, they have the 15th deck, which is over you. So you you have partial cover, but the the pool is outside, the hot tubs are outside, all that stuff. And uh, all, all that stuff's outside. And lo and behold, I walk out there in the middle of this rainstorm. I sit down, and I watch a couple of the deckhands trying to pull the, the pool cover over the pool. I watched these guys for like 10, 15 minutes just trying to cover the pool and and watching people trying to cover the pool and cover the hot tubs and and nail down everything that's blowing all over the place. I just sat and watched these guys. They were the most entertaining thing I saw all week because God knows the play... Uh, we went and saw We Will Rock You was horrific. It was supposed to be some kind of weird story about, uh, I, I don't know, internet something or uh, people running away. I, I don't know what the hell they were talking about. All I know is they kept singing Queen songs, and they were singing obscure Queen songs that nobody knows. And then they're singing. You can't hear what they're singing. I don't know what they're saying. This was by far... The second worst part of entertainment on the ship. We saw, I went and saw anyway. I, I said, hey, look, there's a comic. So I said, let me go see the comedian. You got to support the comedian. Andy Woodhull, this dude ate a bag of dicks. For those who don't know what that means, he stunk. And it's not his fault. Well, yeah, I guess it's kind of his fault. You could have tried being funny instead. But, you know, they kind of they kind of handcuff you and don't let you get dirty while you while you're doing the early shows. So I get that. That doesn't mean you there are some comics who can work clean. Obviously, Andy Woodhull is not one of them. So I went to his I went to his later show where it was supposed to be an adult show and you get away with anything. I should have I, I wound up leaving halfway through that. That wasn't any good either. Uh, it, it just, you know, may, maybe he was off. Maybe it was the crowd. Uh, it, it's a tough crowd to work. You know, you're not really working in a, uh, a comedy venue with people, but you got people on vacation for, oh, let's go see a comedy show. And it, it, it's a tough work. It's a tough crowd to deal with. Uh, but, uh, I, I stood for the first show and I, I really felt bad for the guy because he was just bombing and yeah, it, it it was bad. Even Linda walked out, and and Linda hasn't walked out on me. So if Linda hasn't walked out on me, 
and she's wa- and you're walking her, then you're really bad. But uh, yeah, it it was a it was a uh, it was sort of a rough kind of. Uh, I and I get it being a comic. I I've worked shows like that where you you don't really get a comedy audience, but uh, you can try and be a little funny, dude. I mean, I I don't want to say we walked you, but yeah, we. I I I walked out. I I I ate your first show, your second show. I couldn't eat. And uh, sorry, but, you know, maybe next time. Also, you know what they did? They they dumped a bunch. Every day, I get it. They dumped, like, you know, you're advertising. You're trying to tell me what's going on on the cruise. You're dumping all this paperwork on my on my bed every day. I, I don't know what to do. You give me this little waste basket that I can fit, like, you know, one or two crumpled up pieces of paper in. And now I I have, like, you have notebooks worth of stuff. I have volumes. I need like I should have brought a binder. I could have brought a pole punch. I could have made a whole thing out of this because <clears throat> I just had paper everywhere. I I had to take a drawer. I opened a drawer and I just kept stuffing the paper in the drawers because I didn't know what to do with it. Oh my god, my life! Why did my video end, Gina? Is it? It's telling me the video ended. Well, that's weird. 20 minutes in. You're still running out there? Are you sure? Yeah, you gotta. We're gonna have to sign me back in, Gina. Gene, I can't hear you. Gino. You said you're completely out? Yeah. I'm out. It just told me the video ended. All right, let me see what's going on. Might be because of the weather. It could be because of the weather. Unless you were talking about the cruise line and Facebook owns that too. (laughs) Well, they might, but I didn't mention the cruise line, so it can't be that. That was weird. Unless Andy Woodhull owns it. <laughs> let's try again. I, re- I reset you. See if you're on now again. Okay. Let's uh, let get out Even of this. With weather like this, you can't. Trying to get it to close. That's not it. This is the worst part. There we go. Uh, sure, I finally get a good show going. That that could be it. It could be the. Uh, let's see. Don't mind me. We're okay. We're live again. Uh, yeah, we're live again. Hey, Sal's here. What's going on, Sal? Yeah. Um. For those who uh, may have gotten kicked out or whatever the the case may be, we have uh, we could very well uh, we're in a actual right now Hamilton Radio Hamilton is in a uh, a tornado watch. So anybody who and of course this is you know God forbid uh, we are actually in a tornado. Or tornado watch. So the weather's really bad down here. So we may get kicked out a couple of more times. Uh, hopefully that doesn't happen. Uh, but uh, I'm just going to keep going on with the show and hopefully everybody comes back because uh, we had a pretty good crowd. Uh, I was just about to. I'm going to give everybody a few more minutes, see if they, uh, they sign back in. Hey, Ed, uh, Sal wants to know if you want to hear his cruise story. Sal has a cruise story? Yeah. Do you want him to come in and talk, or do you want him to talk from here? No, let him, I'll tell you what. Tell Sal to go down the street to Taco Bell, lick <laughs> some tacos, and tell me the story from there. <laughs> yeah, come in and talk. Go in and talk. Wow. <laughs> What's wrong with you? 
Hey, buddy, I have Sal Angina, Sal Angina Attack coming in to tell me about his crew story. Because apparently his crew story is better than my crew story. So fuck my crew story. We have Sal's crew story coming in. Can, can anybody else hear that news? I don't know. I, I don't even know if anybody's even back here or what's going on. Well, uh, outside. Don't worry about it. Yes, I, I'm well aware. Well, Dude, I walked in. When I walked in, I, I wouldn't have came in, but I had to pee. I sat outside for 20 minutes waiting for the rain to let up and never so let up. From, what an umbrella. I know. From, is it still overflowing from the gutters? Yeah. Yeah, that was, it was the ta- bad. The Taco Bell was crowded. It's in the street, the line. Well, that's because all the, all the hard shells have been licked by their employees. So, you, so you, everybody you, wants them. You left, you left out of Bayonne with the Anthem of the Sea? Yeah, we left out of Bayonne, Anthem of the Sea. I got, I got a horror story. You got a horror story. I, no, no region clu- cruise line. Oh boy, uh, that's what are trying to get me to book next year. My uh, my friend's wife is a travel agent. She had about sixty of us, and uh, we 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 went to dinner and whatever happened. Smack that in. So, I think that's in. This thing's not charging, and it's just freezing. So what happened was, so they have safes in the room, but you don't expect right. anybody to go in your room. We get back to the room. She goes to check her bag. There's money missing. Uh-oh. Okay. Security. I felt like a criminal. They literally took, made us go and check the luggage. They took our luggage apart, everything out of the luggage. They put gloves on. And I felt, they, they made us feel like criminals, like, oh, maybe you misplaced it. That's a funny thing because we weren't the only ones who got robbed that day. Nice. And it was a whole big hoot nanny with Norwegian call the cameras we got to watch the video okay i will never go on that ship ever again well that's good to know because they're trying to get me to book no region don't don't do it because uh we we've had our problems and i'm off facebook again yeah i i think it's just uh it's just gonna happen is it the weather i i it's got to be the weather because we're just getting kicked all over the place it froze up here, and then it kicked from here. Gene, you might have to reboot everything. Yeah. Let's let's go find out what's going on. Well, right. you can. I'm just going to keep doing my show as long as it's recording. Let's. Because even if I don't have Facebook Live, I still got the website that no one listens to. <laughs> so anyway, I'm the, again, I'm just going to keep doing the show, and... Uh, Hopefully we can get back to uh, what it was, what is going on. Uh, again, we, we're having all kinds of technical issues due to the weather. Uh, I had to brave the storm to get down here. Uh, but I'm here, damn it. Where are you? You're home. Where I should be. What's wrong with me? I'm all the way down here. Anyway, uh, we're going to... Uh, We're gonna uh, we're gonna uh, move on. Uh, let's see. So so far, we know Sal was robbed on Norwegian Cruise Line with several people, and then he ran away before he finished the story. So that's fine. Uh, what else is going on? Gene sharing my video all over the place, which is great for what we have. Uh, we still don't have video up. We keep losing Facebook. I think it's going to happen the rest of the night. So I wouldn't even worry about it. <clears throat> uh, boy, it ruined my whole rhythm. That's all right. Let's just keep going. Let's uh, let's move on to the next thing. Uh, if we come back up, I will... Uh, I will... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, no. If it comes back up, I'll go back into the stories of the cruise and that. Uh, but for now, I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to yell at somebody because somebody needs to be yelled at this dirty slime. Now, I, I've already made fun of her because I said, you know, she was taking a knee during the national anthem. I said it was uh, Donald Trump finally got uh, a lesbian to get down on her knees. Uh, but this is getting out of control. This, uh, what's her name? Megan Rapino, Rapito, Rapito, Toe Toe, Tippy Toe, Tippy Toe, Tippy Toe. Um, they're dropping the American flag on the ground. Thank God Kelly O'Hara 
was uh, aware enough and smart enough to snatch the flag up from these friggin' uh, these ingrates. I, I, I understand not liking the government. I understand having issues with the government. I don't... I, when you take up a stance against the American flag, you're not taking up a stance against the American government. You're taking up a stance against the American people. And if you don't understand that, then there's something severely wrong with you. Okay, the the uh... hey, did we go live again, Gino? Oh, we went live again. Maybe you should have told me. Oh, it did. Okay, because I I didn't even notice. Uh, okay, well, hey, we're we're live again for the. The third time, uh, again, I apologize, but uh, th- this is where we this is where we're at. Um, it keeps freezing, so it- it's obviously a weather issue. The weather is uh, the weather is not good. Uh, we're in a tornado section of the of uh, New Jersey right now. They're planning on it. Um, you know we're we're in the middle of a tornado down here in Hamilton, so uh, we're losing uh, we're losing our feed. Uh, I, I will stay live with you guys as long as I can, and let's hope it doesn't uh, shut out. I was having fun talking about the cruise and all that, uh, but uh, that that's where we're at, Darlene. Glad you guys are back again with all the uh, with all the rain down here, and uh, we're in tornado warnings. Down here in Hamilton and Robbinsville, uh, we're just going to keep getting kicked out, uh, which is a shame. I was having fun. Everybody from the cruise was uh, signing in. We were having a good time talking about it and everything that was going on. But, uh, hey, while we are live, who's ever listening, I hope somebody from the cruise is on and listening or at least a uh, – uh, I'm doing fine, Darlene. I'm in here in this rock-solid building built uh, – Known as uh, HamiltonRadio.net, we are uh, we are safe, we are sound inside of here, but uh, we're definitely losing our feeds. Uh, we're having power problems, you know. But uh, we are here to entertain, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna muscle on through, and just keep it going. Uh, what I will do is while we're on, and uh, anybody who heard the first part portion portion of this show uh, can. Uh, Understand, I'm going to name alpha male and alpha female while we're actually live. So I have a recording of it somewhere in here. Uh, alpha and female, obviously, uh, anyone who's paying attention. Kelly O'Hara, uh, this girl was smart enough when her her ungrateful teammates dropped the American flag on the ground to mock it. She sna- jumped in, snatched it up, and uh, held it high. Uh, and then she kissed her girlfriend which, hey, sexy. Um, but beyond that, uh, she did the right thing, and that was very alpha of her. And that's why she's named Alpha Female of the Week. Uh, so congratulations to you. Alpha Male of the Week. Uh, I, I got to give a shout-out, and I was going to do this in the middle of talking about the cruise and that. Um, but I lost everybody, so I don't know if anyone's going to hear this, see it. Or, or know what's going on. I don't even know if I'm still live. Doesn't look like I am. Uh, but we will have... Uh, we will have... Uh, dee dee dee. We will have audio of this because Gene is still recording. So at least I'll have audio footage of uh, episode 72. Alpha Male, he was able to... Uh, he, he, did, he did something really great. Uh... He, uh, whether he knows it or not, he hasn't listened to my show in a while because, well, he's kind of douchey that way. But uh, I still love him. He's a good guy. Uh, he, my buddy Joe Murgatroyd, he, uh, he put this trip together mostly for the kids. Uh, all the kids from the graduating cr- class got together one, you know, one last time for one week for one big party. Uh, and they all had a blast. Everybody had a great time. Uh, it's a shame he's probably not going to hear this. Um, 
unless he's listening on HamiltonRadio.net. But, um, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, so we can't do anything about that. I really wanted to. Uh, I wanted to do it live on the air. I'll, I'll bring it up again next week live on the air just so he... Uh, just so he he knows uh, how much I appreciate what he did, and how much everybody appreciated what he did, uh, he really gave the kids a chance. These kids are all going away to college. They're going away. You know, my daughter's going to her college down in Florida. Uh, other kids are going away to college wherever it may be. So they're really these kids grew up together since they were five years old, six years old. And they grew up all these years together, and now they're all going to kind of go their separate ways. I mean, they'll see one another, but anyone knows you don't, uh, once you go to college, you start making friends in college, and you don't always stay friends with your high school buddies. And it's not that you don't love them, but you just lose touch. Uh, So this is a nice way for them to go out. Uh, So, uh, Joe Margatroyd, Alpha Male of the Week for uh, week 72, and Kelly O'Hara, alpha female, week, uh, week 72. Now let's, uh, let's jump into, uh, as I was uh, bashing this Megan uh, Rapinoe, I'm going to go another step further. They, they were screaming about equal pay for equal, for women and men's sports. Okay, now, it's, there's a couple of different schools of thoughts here. Uh, men obviously draw more money in sports. Uh, I've heard people say uh, they they've drawn. Uh, I've heard people say they draw more. Men are drawing more money, and they're drawing more money because they're you know they're advertised more and they're uh, they're pushed more and they're they're shown more. Uh, I gotta, I gotta, you know, they're just, they're, you know, they get more of a, a push, so to speak, uh, than the females do. I, again, I have to, uh, uh, I have to, uh, I have to argue with the, uh, the overall sentiment of that. Uh, I understand, uh, I'm glad you heard it, Joe. I, I wasn't sure if you heard it or not. Uh, we're having all kinds of technical inf- difficulties. Um, so uh, I, I'm glad you got to hear it. Uh, really appreciate you putting this together for the kids. Uh oops. Don't mind me, I'm just typing. Uh, yeah, we have... Um, so so Joe, Joe and Kelly will be entered into, of course, the Alpha Male Tournament at the end of the year, which uh, takes place in March, our uh, Alpha Madness Tournament. Uh, who, know, who knows who could win? Anything could happen. Uh, but that's later on. Uh, back to the equal pay for women and men. Uh, I keep getting kicked out of Facebook. Uh, we're, we're again, we're uh, amazed that the power is still on here. Uh, with everything that's going on, uh, we're in the middle of a uh, we're in the middle of a uh, what could possibly be you know a tornado down here in uh, Hamilton. Uh, I'm gonna I'm probably gonna be cutting out on the show a little early uh, since the kind of groove kind of got out since I'm getting kicked out and I'm sure Gene wants to go home early even though Sal came in like he like you know anyone's talking baseball tonight there's nothing to talk about in baseball but uh, maybe Sal will talk wrestling or something I don't know why what is Sal talking about tonight anybody I wonder if Gene and Sal are even still here I haven't heard from them in like 20 minutes They're, apparently they are here I, I hear it in this. We are here, my friend. There you go. You're still here. See, I would have ran for the hills. Back to where, where is Sal? What is Sal talking about tonight? Baseball, hockey, wrestling. What's he talking about? All right. He's coming in to do the cruise. Oh, he's coming in. Good. I don't know why. No one else can hear us. 
Am I back on? Yeah. I'm it, not it's back. It's the weather. No. It, I know it's the weather. I just... Uh, yeah, Mo- Mother Nature's uh, screwing with us. Yeah. Ever since she started talking about that cruise. I know. It could be your fault. Oh, I love Royal Caribbean. That's that's the only cruise line I'll, I'll sail. And where you just left out of a May of 2020, uh, uh, Oasis of the Seas is coming there, which is their yeah. second largest in the fleet. And I was on that twice already. So, like I was saying, with the whole thing, with they, they want to go search the videotape and see if we were lying or telling the truth. I think you're lying, but that's me. And I'm like, why would one of the cleaners leave our door wide open for? Why he's cleaning other rooms? Oh, well, they all do that. Then you gotta watch. You gotta you gotta be careful. Yeah. Always always get travel. Always get in the insurance. Well, we on ha- your stuff and all that. We and, actually had we left Bermuda for like maybe an hour. We were an hour out of Bermuda, mm-hmm. made tops, an hour, maybe two, and we actually had to turn around. There was a medical emergency. We had to turn around, oh, wow. go back to Bermuda, kick somebody off the boat. You know, dump them off the boat and turn around and head back. I missed I missed the full day in Puerto Rico because the the captain thought going through a storm was was the best idea, and uh, we were supposed to land and get in Puerto Rico dock at three in the afternoon. We got there at six, so we literally and it was still pouring out. We ran off the boat, ate at Senior Frogs, and ran right back on the on the boat again. Good, that sounds like fun. Glad you paid for that. I, I got to say we overall it was it was a fun trip. If if you love cruising, that's the best. Way to go. I mean, yeah. if you're a drinker, make sure you get the package with the alcohol because you're going you're to spend a couple of grand well, with, the, I don't, with the alcohol. I'm saying yeah, with the alcohol uh, right. alone, if, if people love drinking, I get well, the soda appa- package. Apparently not because from what I understand, they were running out of everything for mixed drinks. I know they ran I, out I of soda. I can't understand that. Royal Caribbean, no less. We had four that I know of, and, and maybe I'm, I'm forgetting a couple. But I know there were like three or four soda. There were like four soda machines around the boat. Two of them were down on the pizzeria on, on deck four. Both of them ran. Oh out yeah, the soda. Sor- Sorrentino, whatever that. Yeah, yeah. They that's where we always got ours from. We ran right, right. there. Right. Yeah, that's gone. All, all that was gone. They did that nice parade in the middle there. I missed. By Sorrentino. Oh, that that's that's fun. It's it's great what they do. A friend of mine actually just signed, I think, a three month contract with no Norwegian to be in one of the shows. So I wish Mikey Anderson uh, the best of luck is there. He, is he a comedian by any chance? No, he he good, uh, he the, makes independent films actually. Good because I the think. comedians on that boat were horrendous. I got I got to see Cats, uh, Rock of Ages. Uh, we saw We Will Rock You, which was some kind of futuristic kind of Queen yeah. thing, and all they did was sing Queen songs. If you love Broadway shows, Rock of Ages is. Is the definite one to go see if you if you well, like that they, kind of music. They didn't have Rock of Ages available. They had uh, oh, you can hear and see me. What else do you need? Yeah, it's 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 bad out there, folks. If you if you're going yeah. anywhere, get a get a raft or whatever again, you're doing. Again, we're sorry if you know. I know we're in and out, and you know I'm trying to That's stay. That's what she said. I'm trying to stay live, but uh, I'm never out. <laughs> That's why I have so many kids. Uh, yeah, but uh, the weather down here is horrible. We're in the middle of a tornado watch right here in Hamilton. Have you so. noticed the last couple of weeks that we, we've done our shows, it's it's rained, right? It's it's just us, or is it my imagination? Hey, no, it's us. In fact, uh, well, last week, I mean, last week's July 4th, the week before that, I was running around trying to get ready for the cruise, and I completely forgot I had a show. So when Gene <laughs> asked me, I was like, oh, man, it's Thursday? Really? So I honestly I didn't even come do a show. I felt bad. Because I was missing out. I hate missing out. Would you Would you do it again, bud, if go on a cruise? Oh, yeah. I can't wait to go. I'm already looking to book another cruise. Uh, I got to wait. My daughter goes to orientation in a couple of weeks. Uh, after she gets back from orientation, I'll find out when she's going to get back at the end of the school year. Cool. And then, uh, then I'll plan the, All right. the, the cruise out. But it's, I've, it's I've nice. already there's looked so, There's it. so many different ones to go on. Right. I've, I've, I didn't, I was supposed to go on Harmony of the Seas. That's, and <coughs> Harmony and Symphony are the, their largest of the fleet. How, how, much, how much bigger could you make these things? I, I don't know. I'll tell you what, I, I saw the, the Royal Caribbean ship and Norwegian kind of came in from behind us and it looked like our little kid. 
it, the ship was so much smaller than the there, world. There's a lot of competition out there. And, yeah. uh, and if you do leave out of New York, you will see the actual love boat. The love boat. That, that, that sails. Disney Cruise Line is the most expensive. Oh, they can hear and see me perfectly again. That's good. I'm glad. I'm glad we're back. Uh, again, it's any interruptions or anything. For once, it's not Gene's fault. <coughs> um, well, Gene, you didn't get thrown under the bus this time. Well, it's the first time he didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> it's not often, but, uh, yeah, we um, the rain was horrific, and I don't know what it's doing outside. But I'm soaked even with the umbrella, so it, it don't really matter what, what yeah, you got. Yeah, it, it's coming down so hard out there, and, hey, and I just got kicked off again. See? It's just going to keep happening. All right. I'm and uh, good luck to my friends. Uh, be careful out there working the Florida Georgia Line concert at PNC tonight. Yeah, good luck with that. You're going to drown. Uh, cancel that stupid concert already. You know, rain or, they say rain or shine, but I know if there's light. And when I worked at MetLife Stadium, any sh- lightning in the area is supposed to evac. Yeah. So I, I don't know what they do, what the protocol is in a lot of these places. So just be careful, folks. Mm-hmm. Rock on. Let's see. My- and I'll see you all uh, later on. Yeah, because I, I don't really know what I'm doing here with the rest of the show. There's like 15 minutes. <laughs> I, uh, anybody eat crabs or crab legs? I got it. Who had crabs? I, I don't know. I, I'm not getting in the middle of that. All right. Look, I'm, uh, I've, I have kind of got over everything. There's 15 minutes left. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it quits tonight. Uh, we're just getting kicked out, and I got a long road home. So uh, I am just going to... Uh, Bid you a farewell this evening. It's a shame the show got cut short, but I will be back next week, and hopefully we won't be in the middle of a uh, a tropical storm again. Everybody, have a good, a great week. I will see you next week on the Alpha Male Show, and have a good night. And I don't know if Gene's going to play my music, but at this point it doesn't matter because there's nobody here to listen to it. So, uh, Gene, just sign me off. Love you guys. Talk to you next week. And... Uh, We'll try this again.